five hours. Five freaking hours for this. That's the reason why I'm building a hypercube. Hey guys, Peter here. Welcome back to my channel. As you might remember in my last video, there were some issues on the build of this printer. Uh, they are sorted out now. Uh, thank, special thanks goes out to the guys who helped me on Facebook. Um, I had to completely disassemble this frame. I've did it. I've cut these uh, extrusions down to a length of 41 centimeters. So now it's 45 by 45 by 60 centimeters. Hopefully, I can still reach the build volume of 30 by 30. We'll see when this is done. While I was doing all those things, my printer has been producing all the parts ready for this video. So now we can move on to the assembly of the X and the Z axis. Okay, I'm going to move on to the X axis right now. Uh, everything you see here in front of us is what we need to mount it, uh, to put this thing together. I've got my two 8mm rods with the bearings. Then I've got two of these XY joiners. Four of these pulleys then uh, two clamps to mount them on the y-axis then i've got 16 m3 lock nuts and 16 m3 screws of 20 millimeter length so let's put this thing together okay i'm not too happy with the part for the xi joiner um, as you can see the quality is really poor uh, the reason for that is that my old printer is starting is almost giving up on me. Yesterday I broke off the end stop for the z-axis so I'm going to be glad when this one is ready. So before I'm going to do anything to it I'm going to start with the insert with inserting the bolts on the sides here. Okay, next I'm going to put the pulleys into position. Um, there are holes provided here to put an M3 nut in, but my printer doesn't allow me to push anything in there. So I'm just going to secure this into the plastic. Make sure that these are spinning freely, they don't uh, scratch against the sides, so don't tighten them down too hard. Okay, so next I'm going to put the M3 bolts through it to secure the X-axis. I'm not going to tighten them down yet, because uh, I want to be able to move the rods if it's, if, uh, to put them in the right position. And then, next, we're going to do the same thing for the other side, and then we're going to put everything together. Okay, so I, I finished my two XI joiners. Now I'm going to put them on the 8mm ones. If you want to mount this on a frame, be aware these, the pulleys on top, they have to be both in the same direction. So will be opposite side but they all both have to face towards the direction of the motors. Let's put this into the frame. Okay, so we're going to place this inside of the hypercube. Remember that these should always be facing towards the motors and there you go
Notice that my rods are too long now. Um, I'll probably cut this down later. For now, I'm just gonna leave it like that because I really want to get this printer finished. Next is the carriage, but I'm still working on the whole dent. So now what's left is tighten these down and then we're done. X-axis is done, let's move on to the Z-axis. Okay, so to mount the Z-axis, the linear guides, not the threaded rods yet, I've printed out these holders. Uh, you can place one M3 nut in here and tighten them down. And with my two 12 millimeter rods, those four parts, four M3 nuts and four M3 by 20 millimeter bolts and then I've got those I've got eight of those T nuts and eight of the M5 bolts to mount them on the frame. So this is pretty straightforward, pretty simple to do. So I'm just going to jump into it. Let's go back to the hype cube. So I've mounted all the axes on the Hypercube. I've got my X-axis from left to right, I-axis from front to back, and then my Z-axis top to bottom. Next on the to-do list is the X-carriage, the hot end, belts, the heated bed, and the electronics. If you have any questions or you missed something or you've got suggestions of maybe I should change something, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, if you learned something about it, give it a thumbs up and see you in my next video.